All right, so I am, let's see, one hour and 14 minutes in, got 33 minutes left. This is uh, the breakdown on Rotten Tomato. 41% audience score, 7% tomatometer. <laughs> uh, let's... This is a, a woman, Christina Ricci, and a college football star, Owen Benjamin, join a trope of Renaissance actors. Uh, I'm going to do an actual breakdown of this movie because it's bizarre what the similarities are between Owen, what Owen tries to be in real life, especially over the last few years and the things that he's talked about, and his character in this movie. Let's see. This is from John DeFore. A dinner of weak old turkey legs and stale mead would be more fun than this Ren Fair set rom-com disaster. Mark Sivlov. Avoid this one like the pox. Lou Lemonick. Peaks with its animated opening credits. Joe. Finding a fresh setting for a comedy is difficult, but a Renaissance fair is too broad a target. Nil, only Anne Margaret, as the fair's reigning queen retains her dignity. That's not fair. I think uh, Matthew Lillard and Christina Ricci have done a great job so far. Marshall does manage a breezy, good-natured tone toward this oft-mocked cultural phenomenon that allows for eye-rolling and smiling in equal measure. Marshall. I don't know who they're referring to. All's fair in love isn't particularly awful. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Cheeky and underwhelming, quickly to be filed under forgettable films. A prime contender for 2011's biggest cinematic embarrassment. Fair is as predictable as boils on a plague victim and its romantic complications are generic. But the script is amusing and, and zounds. It's nice to see Anne Margaret in the supporting role of a Renfest monarch. If you don't like the word penis, but crack up at the use of wang, ding dong, weenus, and wiener, this is your movie. Some name talent probably won't be putting Scott Marshall's 2009 stinker on their sums. Dreadful, unfunny comedy with only Anne Margaret managing to emerge unscathed. See, that's not, that's not fair. But... I have a I have a theory that I, I don't know how I could prove this. I'm pretty sure R.A. White is Owen Benjamin's pseudonym because he had to have helped write this. the The way the story is, some of the uh, the points of his character, he has to have a writer's credit in this. I think R.A. White is Owen Benjamin. <laughs> 